Grams. Hello, I'm Grams. Join me as we explore fun places, interesting characters, and never boring stories. Are you ready? Then let's go. Today's book is Pete the Cat, Trick or Pete, written by James Dean. In this story, Pete is excited to go trick or treating. He's a little bit worried about how spooky it might be. Let's see what happens. It's Halloween. Pete the cat is excited to go trick-or-treating in his superhero costume. I hope nothing too spooky happens, says Pete. Don't worry, says Pete's dad. We have our flashlights. Let's go trick-or-treating, says Pete. Pete and his dad walk outside. Whoosh! The wind rustles the leaves. Pete sees something moving in the tree. It's just an owl. That wasn't too spooky, says Pete. They arrive at a neighbor's house. Pete rings the bell. He hears a strange sound coming to the door. It's just Callie, Pete says. She's not too spooky. Callie joins Pete and his dad trick-or-treating. At the next house, there is something in the yard. Phew! It's just a scarecrow, says Pete. That's not too spooky. Pete rings the doorbell. Trick-or-treat, say Pete and Callie. Awesome costume, says Pete. Very spooky, but not too spooky. Thank you, says Mrs. Gold, the crossing guard. At the next house, there is something glowing on the steps. Cool, says Pete. Jack-o'-lanterns. Callie rings the doorbell. Trick or treat, say Pete and Callie. It's Pete's teacher. One piece of candy each, she says. Suddenly, they hear something behind them. What was that? asked Callie. Oh, it's just our friend Emma, says Pete. Not spooky, but groovy. One last house, and then we'll go home, says Pete's dad. Pete rings the bell. Ding dong! Yikes! It's a spooky ghost, screams Pete. Don't be silly, Pete. It's just me, says Grandma. Callie and Pete get treats and hugs. Trick-or-treating wasn't too spooky at all. It was actually full of sweet surprises. Happy Halloween! Thanks for joining me again today. And I look forward to seeing you again on Cat with Cat.